well, this thing here that is taking care of the cooling, it broke. So I have to print one of those. So I created this design over here. First I made a, a test print like this one. And uh, so let's print this one and see how it goes. So it's printed. Now let's take a look at this. Um, I'm just gonna remove it here. And it cooled down already, so it's just... That's easy. Okay. So let's clean this up a bit. Just cut this off. Now let's see how it fits. So just snap it on and hope it don't doesn't break. No, it won't. Okay. It's still pretty tough to, to put this on, but it's not properly done just yet. Yeah, I have to redesign this thing a bit. Now let's see how big this is. Twenty one point twelve. Twenty two. Let's say twenty two. This ought to be twenty two point two. Well, it's a bit wider. I came up with this model here. I tweaked it a bit. And I think it's looking pretty good, but you might want to change this diameter for your specific nozzle anyway, or change the shape of this thing. You will see these are 11.2 millimeters in radius. And to change this, I'll just select these. And I'd say scale shift Z only in the x and y direction and I'm just gonna type in asterisk and it's 11.2 I want it to be 11 for instance so I just type in 11 divided by 11.2 so now if I take a look at this this would be 11 millimeters so yeah that's how uh, how you can change the size so I will be including this in the in the Thingiverse, in a link in the description, and I hope it works and helps out for you as well. Maybe there are better designs out there, I don't know, I didn't take a look. So I cleaned it up a bit, and this is the final result. I'm not too unhappy with it. Yeah, that's tough. It does fit, it does shift a little. But I, I don't think it's stable enough to hold a bed probe. So I'm just going to do a complete new design for that. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. I still have to do the holes here. Yeah. And it's pretty tough. How does it fit with this one? Let's see. Slightly easy. Oh, this one is moving very easily in here. So yeah, I should... Uh, I use some XY compensation in the slicer, so if I remove that, this would fit fine as well, I guess. Yeah, so that's for the next time. Anyway, I'm going to include this in the on my uh, thingiverse, and you might need to make some alterations to it. However, you please, it's not a difficult design or anything, so. So now I can design the bed probe, and um, as far I've got this, so that will be my next video. And uh, then I can start doing some crazy stuff like uh, perpetual motion, induction heating. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching.